Welcome back. Mike Wood here again. This video is going to detail how to set up a PayPal account. Pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully uh, uh, won't be changed too much by the time you watch the video. But the steps will be similar to what you'll see in this video. So let's go ahead. You're ready to get started with your business. Setting up PayPal is one of the first steps. To get started with setting up a PayPal account, we want to go to the PayPal.com website. Up here at the top of the web browser, whichever browser you're using, I recommend Google Chrome, you'll see up there the address bar. That shows you what page you're on right now. The current page I'm on is Google.com. If we just type, change that to type in PayPal.com, and if it shows up like that in the screen, I can just press Enter, then that'll take us to the PayPal website. We do not want to see search results. If you're seeing search results, you're searching, you're doing it wrong. Make sure you are typing into the address bar so that you know you're going to the site that you expect to go to. Now, your screen, your page might look a little different than what you're seeing here because it's a website. Websites change. Uh, that is going to happen and, you know, so the page contents might look different. Just make sure that up here it actually says P-A-Y-P-A-L dot C-O-M doesn't matter what's after the slashes as long as the main part of the domain is paypal.com which is what I typed in. And as long as you know that that's where you're, uh, you know that you're at the right site, you're good to go. You're going to sign up and create an account. Now when you first get started, if you have not yet registered a legal business name with your state, then you don't need to set up a business account here. Wait until you have a business name and then you can upgrade your account to business. So we can just start as a personal account if you don't have the personal option up here, just click sign up at the top or wherever you see it on the screen. It might then ask you a prompt like this, personal or business. Again, do personal to get started. You'll enter your email address. This will be your, uh, your login for PayPal, your login or user ID. It is also the way that you will receive payments to your PayPal account. You'll list your legal first name. All right, and then you'll enter a, pay, uh, a, a password. And then click Next. Now we can enter our street address information. And so this will just be basic, uh, you know, just your address. You'll enter your um, city, choose your state, and zip code, um, and then enter a mobile phone number. Now, if you don't have a mobile number, you can change that to home and enter a home phone number, but uh, they do require a phone number as you're setting this up. You'll check the box to agree to the terms, and then you'll click agree and create account. The next screen you'll see is this one where it says, you are in, what's next? Send money and shop with ease with your new account. Now again, it might be a little bit different when you watch this video. This could change tomorrow, literally, and very likely will. So don't stress out or, or get uh, upset if the screen you're looking at at this point doesn't look exactly like this one. We generally don't need any of these options. We don't need to uh, to do any of this send money or buy with confidence. We don't need any of that. So down here it says not sure, add card to use later, Amanda communication preferences. Um, we might even be able to just open PayPal's website. Oh, look at that. I'm already in. So you really don't even need to. You're in. What's next? That's as far as you need to go. You've got a PayPal account. You can go up here and click on the PayPal logo to go to their homepage. Now they do want you to confirm your mobile phone. They uh, want you to link a credit card and confirm your email address in order to verify your identity as you get started. So start doing each of those steps to make sure that you're confirming everything. Once you click on the send email to confirm your email, you can close that box. After clicking on the confirm email, you will get an email, something like this. It'll say service at paypal.com. Please confirm your email address. So you'll click on that. Whenever you get an email from PayPal, look at the top to verify that it is coming from paypal.com. 
here you can see that this actual address is service at paypal.com. If you click on this little drop down arrow in uh, Gmail, other email accounts might be similar, it'll give you more full detail. So this is how you can spot a fake or spoof email that might be coming from somebody that is not really uh, PayPal. If you look at these details and you see something in there that is not just simply paypal.com after the at symbol, if there's anything additional to it, beware. It could be a fraudulent email. Don't click on any links in there. Instead, if it's telling you to do something, go directly to your PayPal account and log in and see if you get the same notice there. If you don't, then you now know the email you got was a spoof or a fake email. Unfortunately, these things happen in our world. So what you're doing here when it says, please confirm your email address, we just come in and click confirm my email address. That's all we've got to do. And then we log in to our PayPal account to confirm it. Then it will tell you that your email is confirmed. Now it's going to ask you, if you haven't already set up a debit or credit card, to enter a debit or credit card. So go ahead and enter that information so that you can proceed with setting up your PayPal account. And you're back in your PayPal account. Now again, it would be good to link a credit card to help confirm your identity and that you're a real person and to confirm your mobile phone. Once you've done these steps, you can move on to setting up your eBay account and connecting your PayPal to your eBay account as you start your first listing.